welcome back to Cruising as Crew. My name is Lucy and I am here with the wonderful Danny. <laughs> and we're going to do an interview about her job on board. So Danny, what do you do? <laughs> I work with the shore things. Uh, so basically the excursions that we do when we are on port. So amazing. Amazing. <laughs> so uh, she works in shore excursions and this is by far one of the most desirable jobs, one of the jobs that I get asked about the most. So Danny, is this your first contract? Uh, yeah, this is my first contract uh, with Virgin Voyages. So yes. you worked for another cruise line before? Yes, okay, I worked. Which, which uh, it was uh, Royal Caribbean. Ah, but I worked for Royal as well. Oh, yeah? They're, yeah, they're really cool. And yeah. then did you do shore excursions with Royal as well? Yes, uh, there the job was a little, a little bit uh, different because I was uh, doing the shore excursions but also diving instructor. So wow. I was teaching diving and also selling the excursions. Oh my god, that must have been busy. Yeah, well, <laughs> diving was like our priority for some of us. So okay. we used to have a team, uh, a big team, like 12, 13 people. And then three of us would be diving instructors. So we were teaching on board. Wow. Yeah, teaching diving. We had the paddy program. Um, and we can we could use the swimming pools to do the theory part and once we are on ports we could do the you know so could people people could go on a Royal Caribbean cruise and get their paddy qualification oh yes 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 so um, uh, as far as I know until now they can do that yes. what, what ship were you on uh, I was on the Oasis and Alu wow. doing this job both of them That's so oh, cool. majesty as well oh and for a short period of time I was on the freedom like just freedom so yeah, yeah it's a nice nice class yeah. of ships so yes oh wow i also did the aqua cast support diver so i was on the aqua shows on the aqua theater <gasps> Wow, okay. Yeah, those are for the big ships. So I was doing that on the Allure. That was my last contract uh, for Royal Caribbean. You know, I've always seen those and thought I could never die on that. It's so <laughs> high. Wow, that was incredible. I had no idea you did that. Yeah, wow. it was really nice. It was a very, very yeah. nice gig. And yeah, I got to learn a lot and got to know uh, lots of incredible people. And you have to trust each other and to build that trust. Yeah. And it was, it was really nice. Wow. It was a great experience. So what made you decide to come over to Virgin Voyages then? Um, well, then in 2016, um, I left Royal Caribbean. Then I went to, to Canada. I was studying there yes. for a while. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, I went back to Brazil. Uh, this is my country. Yeah. This is where I live. Uh, then I was doing some uh, like on-land uh, jobs. Then pandemic came then <laughs> we all know that so then we had i had to wait and after the pandemic it was interesting because during the the pandemic yeah. i was um thinking uh about coming back like something clicked inside of me and i felt like i want to go back i want to be again close to to people and cultures and so yeah then i i came back uh then i applied and then I got the job. Here. Wow, amazing. <laughs> okay, and so did you decide on the shore excursions job because you had done that previously? Like you already had experience? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And because I really like this job. I really yeah? like it. Yes. Okay. All right. So we'll get into the job. So your job is to primarily sell and organize excursions. Yes, uh, right. what, like we don't really uh, organize them. We okay. have the tour operators, uh, they are the ones uh, doing that for us offshore. Uh, but we have to be in contact with them and we have to make sure that everything goes uh, nice. Smoothly. Yes, nice and smoothly. And then, and obviously on board, we are telling uh, the sailors what to do and what excursions are best suited for them and so on. So, wow, okay. Yeah. So after the pandemic, when you applied to Virgin Voyages, how long did you have to wait to get on board? Uh, actually, uh, I, yeah, after the interview and all the process, uh, they gave me something around two months, two and a half oh, okay, months. Oh, that's decent. Yeah, 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 and it was great because I had to renew my STCW course and do my medical, uh, renew my C and D visa as well. Yeah. So then I had time to organize all that. Yeah. And did the, does the company reimburse you for all of those things? Uh, yes, they are uh, on the process of doing it. Okay. So I already. Um, uh, submit all yeah. the yeah all the receipts and so on but they, yeah they would like that. so you'll get all the reimbursements for the yeah. documents because they are expensive especially when you have to do 
all of them at once it's like ah, yes. oh my money's gone yes <laughs> and before getting the job so yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> like this better work out <laughs> exactly and because you had done this before you've done this job of world caribbean have you received much training from virgin voyages because although it's the same job it, they obviously do it very differently because it's a different cruise line. So, have you had a lot of training, or um, not not uh, on the, not specifically for the job? Okay, uh, because the job is very similar, even oh, okay. though yeah, like we use a different system, but also similar to the one uh, I used to to deal yes. with. Yeah, uh, but I got uh, many trainings for the for the Virgin way of doing things. Of course, yeah. yeah, so then and I think that was really nice because it's more relaxed and the way we talk to the sailors and you know the way we deal with things uh, so we had to do to yeah to change like to reset the mind and do yeah. things on a different way uh, but that's what I that's exactly what I wanted because I really wanted that uh, challenge I wanted to learn different things and be with uh, different company and mm. get to know different people and co yeah. cultures and so on so i think it was great that way yeah okay so as someone who works in shore things i want to go through the different days so we obviously have embarkation day we have a sea day and we have a port day so can you tell me what a normal embarkation day like is for you in shore things mm, in shore things um during the morning we are well at least for the staff we are um, uh, relaxed that's the the morning that we can go out uh, okay. in this case go to Barcelona enjoy yeah. a little bit uh, then in the afternoon as soon as the sailors come then we start getting busy because then one of us goes to the manor the other one to, to um, deal with the the rock stars yeah uh, and introduce them to the excursions and offer them all, all we have oh so they got first dibs of the excursions mm, not really because uh, the excursions are already open even pre-voyage right so they can be booking it online mm, okay um, but we go there like just as a like mm, how do you say like just to make sure that they've got what they want yes okay. exactly and if they want to switch something or if they want more information what to bring and where to meet us okay so then we provide this service to them uh, meanwhile one of us is at the chart table Mm -hmm. um, then also taking all the, the requests and, and bookings uh, and one of us is in the office uh, already doing the changes and things that we have to do uh, by the request of the two operators right okay so wow. yeah yeah and then in the evening we open the desk again we go to next to the sailor services and then we stay there until I think nine and the break embarkation day it changed like very yeah. recently so it used to be eight but now we stay a little longer okay. because that's the the evening that all of them are coming they want to know how the app works yeah. and how they can book their short things there and mm. make sure they are booked so yeah embarkation day as per, as per my experience I think it's the busiest day so, yeah oh really yes, okay. yes. okay that's interesting yeah. and then so what about a port day or actually we'll go for what about a sea day a sea day um yeah a sea day uh, like like today yeah. is one day that uh we do things in the office and we also open the desk so we are solving uh things concerned to the previous ports mm -hmm. that we've been to already and also bookings for the next ports that we're gonna go to uh, and then dealing with tour operators and everything like then we go to yeah. the office and emails and it's it's a lot of um, let's say bureaucratic work but a lot of communication to offshore and yeah. yes all the time all the time back and forth emails uh, about the spots uh, uh, if we can accommodate more sailors or not mm. some sailors want to cancel but we already purchased the tickets how we're gonna do it right, okay. so yeah that's God, a lot of a lot of logistics mm -hmm. isn't there? wow yes. all right yes. and then what about a port day yeah then so what de what time does your day start on a port day on a port day very very early yeah because we have ports uh, well we arrive to the ports in most of them very early like mm -hmm. 7 38 mm -hmm. in the morning and then we have to be prepared um, because exactly like you say because of these lots of communication and logistics uh, we assign w each uh, staff each, each one of us uh, has its port so we are like in charge of that port and obviously okay. we do a rotation 
oh, so some one of you will get some time off. Exactly. Oh, that's yeah. nice because yeah. I thought all of you did every day. We do, do. Okay. we do, but then uh, some part of the day, that person who is not on duty has the free time or uh, the, what we call site inspection. So right. we schedule that person to go in one of the tours to make sure that everything ah, is running, okay, I see. to have an idea, then comes back and makes the report, upload the pictures on the system, so all of, all of us know a little bit more about that tour. Yeah, okay. Because they are all new tours for us. Of course, and Virgin Voyages is a new company, so exactly. it's, yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of tours that you haven't inspected yet. Yes, so, yeah, exactly. Okay. So we are doing it slowly, and then we always make sure that one of us goes on the tours and can give us uh, a lot of feedbacks. Yeah. So, but then they want the person who is uh, on duty, that person stays on board and solving everything and checking emails, uh, keeping contact with the tour operators outside to see if, you know, everything is going smoothly, like if, you know, because it can happen, like some, you know, some things can happen mm -hmm. uh, during the day yeah. and then we have to have someone like, to, yeah, yes, to make, up. yeah, of yeah. course, picking up the phone if yes, it all goes also. wrong. Yeah. Okay, so because one of the big, what does that? One of the big reasons that people like to book excursions is for the safety element of, like, people don't want to go off on their own in case they miss the ship. Yes. But everyone <laughs> knows if you book an excursion and the excursion's late for whatever reason, the ship will wait for you. So let's say you're the you're the one in charge that day, and this excursion doesn't come back on time, like. What do, what do you do? What's your part to play in that? Uh, well, then I have, first of all, I will um, get in contact with uh, my manager. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, the staff, the assistant manager and the manager. Right. So first I will try to reach the, the assistant manager mm -hmm. and obviously uh, that person is going uh, to reach the manager. And we're going to try to, you know, to... to uh, talk to the tour operator and see what happened. Sometimes it happens like a traffic or we, we we had that a couple of weeks ago, one boat was broken so we had to delay a little bit but it, we, we didn't have to delay the ship, thank God, it was all good. Okay. But then we have to be in contact to them and also the manager gets in contact to the bridge, talks to the captain and lets him know, uh, lets him to know <laughs> that wow. we're a little bit late. Wow, and, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then we also talk to sailor services to make them to know and get in contact because some sailors are sailing with their families or friends so they make sure that everyone is aware. Yeah, of course. <laughs> like you said, it's a lot of communication. Wow. You got that right. A lot of, a lot, I didn't realize mm. how much. Yeah. I, may, I mean, maybe it was naive of me, but I thought like you had to get up really early and obviously make yeah. sure everyone got on their excursion okay. That's correct. But I yeah. thought after that, it was just like, no, okay. no, no, no. <laughs> wow. So it's, yeah. yeah, and even like this, uh, there is a short time uh, in the, during the afternoon that yes, we are like just waiting and hoping that yeah. nothing is gonna, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like nothing bad is gonna happen. I mean, you know, like everything goes according to the plan. Uh, but then in the afternoon, uh, a little bit later in the evening, we go back to the desk to get the feedbacks and to see what the sailors are saying about the tours, about the excursions. Uh, and again, we do rotations. Some of us are going to be at the desk and some of them are going to be in the office to do the invoices, to pay the tour operators, to see how many people went actually on the tour, how many people didn't go. Uh, we found some people because they were on medical condition. So wow. if we have that, we have to refund and give the money back. Uh, it can go like to the credit card or onboard account and all that. So we have to to organize everything. <laughs> Jeez. So you have to be very organized and yes. that, like I think that would be a very like uh, how you say like required, very essential skill. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Organized, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so have you been on any of the excursions yourself? Oh yes, yes. Okay. And what has I... your favorite excursion been? Hmm. I have a few of them that are like that I liked a lot. But recently, and because this week we are doing the Spanish Obsession yeah. uh, voyage, and I've been to, in Malaga, uh, El Caminito del Rey. Okay. It's a hiking tour, and it's super, super nice. It's really? beautiful, beautiful, amazing nature. Uh, like, uh, you go like on very narrow, um, 
pathways, pathways yeah. yes and then you go through and and then there is water coming it's really really nice wow. it's yeah it's a very nice tour it's a long walk but it's worth it like every single bit of it it's like, i liked it yes yes like and it's a like breathtaking views you're up on the hill and you see everything down there and then slowly we, we the path goes down mm. and then we stop uh, by the restaurant and we have some some meal and with a beautiful view outside yeah. oh, i really wow. enjoyed that one yeah, yes yes tomorrow i'll be uh, on duty so one of my colleagues is gonna take it's gonna that do too. that one yes yes yeah i love malaga <laughs> it's so so beautiful yes it is a beautiful how long are your contracts uh, our contract is uh, more or less like five months five months and a half and then how much time off do you get in between uh, contracts something around six weeks six okay. seven weeks and that's fine yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I, think I think it's uh, i think it's enough yeah. like you can go rest see family catch up with your personal things yeah and as when we are working on cruise ships we all know like we stay home it's very enjoyable but then at the end we can't wait to come back yeah it was like so, oh get me back on yes, the ship exactly yeah, so i think fine. that six weeks is perfect yeah yeah i must say actually i've had six weeks before and it's about it's the sweet spot actually. yes yes and i think even the time for the for the contract i think it's also perfect it's not too long and it's not too short yeah actually you're right i mean i so i did five months on scarlet and mm -hmm. it was perfect yeah and this one has been a lot longer <gasps> like, oh. so yeah yeah, yeah five yeah. months is a good yeah i think good that length. like more than that we start getting very tired and every you know every single day starts being almost yeah. the same yeah but until five months you see everything differently yeah. yeah how much time off do you get while you're on the ship so do you mm. ever get do you ever get a full day off no a full day off no no, no, no so no. is it it's like a few hours off yes. here and there yes yes okay and you work mostly every morning apart from embarkation day right yes yeah okay. embarkation day and uh on on the port days uh we work a little bit later but we work in the morning uh, we okay. start a little later that's all okay but but we work in the morning but the port days mornings are always busiest uh, the uh, busiest mm. because uh, we have to be doing the dispatch, the tour dispatch. So, make like you say, make, make like you said, make sure that everyone is on their tours, and yeah, that happens most often uh, in the mornings. Right. Okay. Oh yeah, I guess there could be some excursions that leave later, but yeah. mostly in yeah. the Yeah, and we also have some uh, tours, some excursions that they go uh, in the afternoon. Okay. So the person on duty, uh, that sh that person is responsible for the afternoon tours. Right, okay. While the others can have some time off and do something else, but that person on duty stays and takes care of the yeah. afternoon ones. Okay. Afternoon ones, yes. Make sure that everything goes good. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure. Yeah. What are the top three skills you think you need to work on a cruise ship? First of all, I think you must be flexible. Okay. I think I, I think flexibility is a very important skill because things change very fast and we are not we realize very soon that we are yeah. not in control and we're not you know we cannot control everything and yeah. so I think flexibility because you know mm. at any time they can change cabins they can change ports they can <laughs> change itineraries yeah. they're gonna launch a new ship after that they're not anymore yeah yeah so i think flexibility is is is, is very important yeah um the second one um, i would say you have to be a person that likes um explore okay like, uh, I think you have to have that inside of you that makes you to be comfortable on uh, new situations um, like there are some people that don't they don't really like to go out of their comfort zone and okay I, I understand but I think to work on a cruise ship you have to step out of your comfort yeah. zone very often and even to do the first uh, contract you're already out of your comfort zone yeah and i yeah and i agree i mean i think on my first contract definitely i think i must have stepped out of my comfort zone every day 
<laughs> with some, whether it's speaking to a new person or doing a seminar in front of people or just the fact that you're living on a ship yes. you know it's like yeah. Ah. yes um so yeah that's a really good one yeah and we are away from our families uh, and friends back home so we have to be open to make new friends and and to feel ourselves uh, like a family yeah. uh, like, i don't think this i know that most of the people they talk about that even not meaning it but i think if you mean it you have a m more pleasure experience experience yeah. on board yeah definitely you have to be willing to let people in exactly. um i think my contract have only been as good as the connections that I've made mm -hmm. you know like even the the contracts that where I've gone to the most amazing places yes the contract where I didn't go to great places is still my favorite because I made such good friends so nice. yeah that's yeah that's a really good one yeah yeah so that would be the second one and then the third one I would say um, I don't know how to put this uh, in words like but if you were very much attached to what you have offshore, mm -hmm. uh, not only people, like, things. of course, family, but, but things, yes, uh, then I think you're not going to feel great. Uh, but if you, if you don't mind leaving things behind and mm -hmm. even some very people that you love the most, you yeah. leave them behind for a while, but you know that you're doing something you love and you know that you're coming back and when you're on vacation you're gonna have very like a good quality time with them yeah, yeah. then I think you know you'll be fine but if you can't um, uh, let go yes yeah. yes if you cannot let go uh, things and, and people then yeah. I don't think you would like that yeah. job yeah you're right and it's funny I think because a lot of my vacations recently have been three months or more and in three months you really do get settled at home like I'm like okay I like having my big wardrobe and I like being at home with my parents and the food that you have at home and I can see my friends every day yeah and then when it's time to come back although you're excited to come back it's like oh but I don't want to leave my big wardrobe and have to live <laughs> exactly. with this tiny one. And, you know, I don't want to leave three quarters of my things at home and not see them for six months. Yeah. But it's amazing how fast, especially with things, it's amazing how fast you forget about them. I honestly, like at the end of my contract, I couldn't tell you what I have waiting for me at home. And yet they There's were the really feeling. hard to leave when I came but I have no idea what's there but it's quite nice because I don't know if you find this but every time you go home you're like oh I forgot I have this yes. <laughs> <laughs> it happens very often and, and that's when we realize that we have so many things that we don't even like need. we don't need them yeah. it's nice to have them or you yeah. know at some point they were important somehow yeah. But after a while, you were collecting so much experience, so many new adventures and new friendships and relationships and so yeah. on. So that then when you come home, you say, oh, I think I'll be fine even without all this. And then you realize that we need uh, less than we think we need. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I Actually, that's such a good one. I think... I think that in itself has made me better at not spending money mm -hmm. on, on silly things. Like, I literally did it just five minutes ago. I went to the bag shop and there's a really nice Marc Jacobs bag there. I thought, oh my God, this is amazing. I need this. And then I was like, Lucy, you have so many bags at home and I couldn't even tell you what bags they are you don't need another one that you're just gonna leave at home and forget so yeah, yeah you're yeah that's a really good one detachment from yeah. things well you know i also think like it's nice when you get something for yourself mm. um I, I feel that also working on cruise ships i feel that if i'm on a different port and i see something different that i normally don't see home yeah i i feel like oh i can allow myself to have that yeah and who knows when I'm coming back here, if I yes. will ever come back here. If so I'll ever see something like that again. Exactly. Yeah. So then you just feel like, okay, you have to choose quickly because, you know, it's like you don't have much time. Yeah. This is something also about working on cruise <laughs> yeah. ships. We are always like looking at watches and alarms for everything. Yeah. 
so then you feel like okay i deserve this one or or even different food that you can go out and experience something sometimes i'm like oh but i don't i don't need that ice cream but it's so good we're in italy the ice cream here is delicious so let's just try it yeah. and then you allow yourself more because you know that that experience might never come back yeah so if you have that opportunity you want to take it yeah i feel that way i don't know if you understand yeah no I mean. absolutely yeah a hundred percent i mean i think i spend most of my money on food for that exact reason because i'm like when am i going to be back here exactly. i need to try this moroccan <laughs> restaurant and you know i do yeah. and i love food and i think you know if i'm going to spend my money on anything yes then. but yeah i, I the definitely food, yeah. i always think it's a very well spent money <laughs> exactly yeah exactly so what is your favorite and your least favorite thing about working on a cruise ship um my favorite is uh for sure getting to know new people mm -hmm. uh like we're getting to know yeah. each other now and it's so nice i've seen you walking around but we never had the chance yeah, to talk no, so no. it's really cool uh, new people, new cultures, and uh, new places. So I think that's number one okay. by far. Um, the thing that I don't like um, the feeling that we have that we are uh, disconnected uh, from the rest of the world because we kind of have our world here, uh, so much going on, and we have we are normally so busy every day all the time that we don't really get to see what's happening outside and um yeah like we kind of we kind of um, forget a little bit about the world outside of course we have our families and friends and everything in our mm -hmm. minds all the time yeah but but like it's it it's it becomes not really important like the news and what's yeah. going on because we have yeah. our own things happening. I mean it's quite nice in some ways yeah. to be disconnected from all the all the negativity I suppose but yeah well but also uh, and this is what is interesting we are also disconnected from the good stuff as well yes because then some of our friends are uh celebrating their birthdays their weddings they're getting babies they're <laughs> married yeah yeah and, and yeah. we are on board the ship yeah, so like, not congrats always, have yeah. a good time exactly yeah we're not always available to be with them so this is the not so good part yeah it, definitely like. <laughs> i agree with that and it's a shame but it's it's the sacrifice we yes. make i suppose isn't exactly it? yeah i think that everything has uh, both sides right yes. it's not everything perfect or 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 bad it's yeah. it's a balance of definitely yeah but to anyone watching this who wants to work in sure things what advice would you give them mm, like um, what what skills do you need to have the job you have uh well we were talking about being organized yeah uh being a person who is um who likes this uh, computer kind of work because okay. we do a lot of uh, we deal with um, Excel sheets we do uh, some of the letters that we have to write okay. to sailors and to operators um, obviously like uh, you you have to like to talk to people and to be able to express that to them and and yeah like um, Mm, like you don't have to convince anything to anyone but you have to be able to show them the good things and uh, what it what would fit them better so you look at the person and obviously you're gonna ask what they want to do and and what they like but it's nice if you have that feeling that um, sensitivity so yeah um, sensibility um. Yeah, Sorry, no, no, it's, I, I can't think, think of it either. Yeah, sen you're sensitive to what the needs are. Mm, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you see, and then obviously, like if if you see like um, older sailors, you're not gonna tell them, okay, go on this hike. It's like yeah. four yeah. hours hiking tour. So you're yeah. gonna give them, what do you like to do? Do you like uh, sightseeing? Oh, this one goes on a bus and takes mm. you around, stops in a restaurant. Yeah. So I think if you like to common sense. You have to, yeah. yeah. But also like this feeling that um, as if you were taking your own family to do a trip, okay. something that you have to care. 
exactly right. exactly okay. you have to feel that uh, they they will have a great time because yeah. they're not going to be pushed pushed too hard they're not going to be like oh this is boring i would like to do something more active right okay. so if you see most of the times you have couples coming and full of energy oh why don't do this biking tour you go you know like do the kayak it's mm. very nice you're gonna yeah. be active and enjoy the sun yeah so you have to have that feeling um to to be able to to tell them like what the best to do uh yeah like working on the computers and yeah that's it pretty much Wonderful. It. okay yeah. well i think i think that's everything mm, that's good <laughs> but thank you so much danny you're for welcome. answering those questions you're welcome. and thank it was you a pleasure. <laughs> <It's amazing. laughs> and thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it and if you have any questions for danny you can leave them in the comments down below and i will ask Danny and I'll get back to you in the comments or you can Where message me over on Instagram at cruising as crew um, but yeah please like this video if you enjoyed it because it helps me out with the algorithm and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day whatever you decide to do and I will see you in the next video bye, bye. <laughs>